Good evening to all of you. My name is Valentina Sanchez, and today I'm going to talk about the Marroquin castle and talk about its history. So, first of all, uh, the Marroquin castle is located in Chia, Cundinamarca, close to the North Highway to go to Bogota. The person who made the decision to build this huge castle is Jose Manuel Marroquin, a prestigious writer and one of the presidents of Colombia between 1900 and 1904. During his whole life, Jose Manuel created great projects and one of the most famous is the Marroquin Castle. Despite of he couldn't end it, his son Lorenzo Marroquin did it. After waiting three years approximately, finally in 1904, the well-known French architect Gaston Lehage left his construction perfectly done with each detail we know today. Talking about the castle itself, um, it is based on a medieval French style. It has two circular towers, each one of them containing four levels, a chapel, kitchens, and a considerable green area. Furthermore, the castle was meant for the stay of people who wish to live there. Inside uh, the castle, has the same appearance as on the outside. It has a lot of antique things to make the environment different and to grab people's attention. The construction itself is only one century old. Besides that, it has been said that the Marquis's purpose has always been to highlight the politics and literally influence of its era. Well, the history starts when the Marroquin family sold the property. When the new owners purchased it, they made the decision not to live in that place, leaving the castle completely abandoned. After a long time, the construction was rented to be a nightclub and after that, it became in a psychiatric hospital. And at this specific point of the history, people have been making up a lot of stories, theories, and legends. They, they say that they have seen different signals of paranormal activities. In fact, there have been a huge amount of radio programs as La Mega, who have been in that place and they have related they could feel heaviness in the environment while they were there. Furthermore, they affirm the statues that are located in the outside of the castle moved at night. They also could hear children voices and had contact with them but nobody knows the real history of this castle some people say that those ghosts uh, showed up when a patient of the psychiatric hospital hanged himself and other people said that they start like showed up when two little girls got lost into the castle. Back to the history, in 1952, the respectable surgeon and writer Roberto Restrepo restored the whole property. And in 1970, the oil tanker Guillermo Villasmil added a few details like pool and made uh, the rooms more exclusive for a guest. Finally, the construction was abandoned one more time, although the architect Francisco Restrepo made his job bringing the castle back to life with a restoration. 
And finally, now it's well known as a cultural heritage, a good place for events and a delightful restaurant. Well, finally, I really recommend you to come here if you have the opportunity someday. The medieval environment plays uh, an important role in this place. So if you are into bygone things and places, it's perfect for you. Unfortunately, it was difficult for me to enter in the castle because it is mandatory to make a booking if you want to record a video or um, to do an event as well. Finally, I would like to thank you for your attention and I hope you have enjoyed this video and well, see you next time. Thank you for your attention.